Oh, G6, aka Young Pablo. Yeah, man. <laughs> He in the building. Nigga, I, I was like, yo, this nigga left two bras outside. It's like, they holding I thought y'all brung them for me. Like, just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely brung them in for me. He's like, yo, that's not for me? <laughs> Came across the bridge for y'all niggas. Oh, right. <laughs> G6, Pablo, how you feeling, man? Ain't shit. Chilling, living life. Another day. Just here. What's it like on the internet? Regular. That's, sure nah, regular. Home, that's hometown. I'm, that's life. That's like how we, everyday thing. Mm. Like, what does it mean to be doing from musically lifestyle? It's a good look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. BX. Like, I don't know. Like, it's a good look. And they like it. Bronx rappers, not too many. Not too many right now in the game. Mm-hmm. I'm here to, like, set the tone. It ain't a lot of New York rappers in the game right now, let alone the Bronx. It it is a lot like Brooklyn. A lot of Brooklyn rappers. They don't got too many Bronx rappers. It's it's, it's, it's a lot of niggas rapping in Brooklyn. But it's at least like 10 good lit Brooklyn niggas right now. Okay. Bronx, what you gonna say? Boogie? Nah, I ain't gonna say nothing like that. Oh, really? I don't even count that. That's just a different vibe. We us. We us. Everybody else is done. We one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a whole. I don't listen to nobody but us. It's us. Mm-hmm. We take over a whole station if you play us. Mm-hmm. Whole party if you play us. Whole concert, they take us. I like your audacity because he ain't blink one time. He looked at me dead in my eyes. And that's amazing. <laughs> that's impressive for a young dude, man. That means you got a lot of OGs around you, a lot of yeah. like solid dudes that, you know, brought you up in a whole different, you know, fashion and manner, you know what I mean? So I, I feel the energy of him. This ain't no bluff. What you thinking, Ashley? I just want to know, what what type of records do you do? Mm. I could do anything I put my mind to. But what you like, what do you I do, rap, though? Tell I rap, me. I rap, it really balls. Like, I, you, I, that's what so I like you spitting? Yeah, you spittin'. you do chick records? I could do them though. I don't really. I could do them though. Can you do strip club records? We need of course. Well, that's a chick record I mean, I right make, now. I, feel me? I, I, I can make a club banging. I can. All right, what? 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 That's what I'm. I mean, I, make, I, I will talk to me. Could definitely make ladies shake the room. All right, one time. All right, because y'all can talk about that, the BX and all that. Me, I want to know about the music, straight up. Music. You know what I mean? I'm versatile with it. Like, uh-huh. any B, I could get right to it. Like. Party banger, you want bars, but you want a little melody, a little audio, I can do everything. Mm-hmm. Whatever I set my mind to. Real shit. Well, what, what's what's your motivation to getting into the game? Like, for you as a group and personally, man? Personally, music is just like, I've been fucking with music. Mm-hmm. 15, 16, I'm... It was, it was all funny games, 15, 16. Now it was just like, naturally, like, Natural music. Like, mm. so, getting in the game is like, I don't know. It's a good look. <laughs> <laughs> now, how does it feel being being a part of this this movement that y'all got going on? Because y'all seem to be together. Yeah, and, yeah, and, 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 and y'all all seem to be thinking alike. You know what I'm saying? Which is very, very rare. Especially at a young What does age. that feel like, though? It feel good because, uh-huh. like, how I look at it, we got each other. To mm-hmm. be honest, nobody really gonna have us how we got each other mm. at all. Like so, we 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 stick as a one. Mm-hmm. And to be honest, there's a lot of people that don't like us. That's why we so united. Like so, we stick as one. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody but us. That's why we move how we move. Gotcha. Why they don't fuck with y'all? Like I what's... don't know, and I don't care. Cause y'all got a lot of money. Y'all got a lot of bitches. Yeah. What, 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 I mean, I mean, when niggas don't start liking other motherfuckers, it got to I mean, do with I, money and horse. Yeah, yeah, that's the number. I mean, I stand. It's it. definitely the money though. Uh-huh, it's definitely okay. the money, like young niggas doing it. Uh-huh. That's how I look at it. Young niggas doing it. Everybody else just be mad because they not doing it. And we mm-hmm. doing it. And that's it. Like that's really the whole. I, that's all they it goes down to. They come with the money. They come with the money regardless. The money. I don't mm-hmm. be and, focused on none of that. Money, music. That's it. Family. That's it. Family. I just had a daughter. She won. Congratulations, okay. man. Looking. Congrats, my dude. Real rap. Just, mm-hmm. 
trying to support the family and the we basically a family. That's what we are. Mm-hmm. All of us. Ain't um, lie. Well, what's what's the process like um when you go in the studio for yourself, G Six? Like making the track? Yeah, like what 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 motivates you, what what inspires you? What have you been through your life that you're like Really is like Growing up is like what I speak on if you listen to my music is what I witnessed growing up. Like, you feel me? Like what I like witnessed growing up type shit. Like not even witness, so like as a young What was some shocking things you saw growing up that I don't know. Under- you feel me? Yeah. I don't know. Shit I can't speak on. Just that, like that. That's fair. Um, mm-hmm. Let me ask you this, because it's it's fifteen of y'all that y'all know. Do y'all like? Because when you know when this when dudes is younger, it's hard to express yourselves. But like, do y'all really like talk as a group to like encourage each other, help each other, like yeah. like therapy, yeah. real shit, like real therapy, yeah. like yo, my man's this is how. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially what? when it comes to music. Mm. If what about go, life though? Life. If one of my brothers is doing bad and I know he's doing bad and I can help him, I'm here for him. Just mm-hmm. like I want him to be there for me. It's like, I know, like, it's it's a one. It's one. So if one doing bad, we all doing bad. If one doing go, we all doing great. It's real mm-hmm. shit right there. So what's your creative process? Do you do you listen to the beat and you write to the beat? Do you write your rap definitely, first? I definitely. It depends what mood I'm in. Okay. Because de- right now, like, these YouTube beats is dirt. <laughs> no lie, okay. YouTube beats is good. Everybody using them shits. I'm mm-hmm. tired of those. Okay. So me, I lately been like, no beat in it. Mm-hmm. Couldn't get to the store. I got a producer. He make them on spot. Like, okay, he exactly. making the beats on spot. So any vibe I'm rapping, he going. So you so so you merging your um lyrics with the beat first. Or, or unless I'm in the booth and he got a beat for me, like. Do you I'm write hooks too? It. Yeah, I'm good at them. Do you do you write the hooks before you write the um. The verse? Verses, yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm asking because I, I want to know your process. To, my verses go based off my hook. Okay. All right. Now the reason why he asking, like he not gonna say, it, but he worked on a lot of mega records, so this the intricacy he could, you know, y'all could help each other and figure out things to really bust even bigger moves. So I definitely, I'm, I'm great at hooks. Mm-hmm. I can make a hook for anybody in a matter of minutes. Because that's the money maker. So you should write. So you should get a lot of beats. And write a lot of hooks, and then go back and write rhymes on it, and then let your other niggas write rhymes on the hooks you laying down. It's more than one way to skin a cat. You don't gotta do posse records or this or whatever. Every person in that outfit gotta find their niche, and if they find their niche, it could catapult the whole crew. Cause if you write and killer hooks, then everybody out there got a career. Because the hook drives yeah. the whole song. Mm-hmm. That's definitely a fact. So that's the gift. So while you trying to do a hook and you trying to go write records and records, you should get fucking 20 beats that you love and lay down 20 hooks and then come back to all of those records that you wrote them fire hooks to and then write the songs and spread love to your niggas and y'all niggas will get on because somebody might do better with melody and flow. That's you know what I'm saying? So you write a rhyme and you give it to Heineken and Han be like, nah, let me let me let me doctor this up for you. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. That's not writing your rhymes, but he good with flow. Mm-hmm. He, and, he, and he give it back to you and your shit flowing like water with your water hook, then y'all got something. That's and and don't right. let these niggas lie to you and say, Oh, we never did that. All the mega Every niggas every niggas. everybody and w- help, like like yeah. you asked me earlier, we are one. Mm-hmm. Like, so that, that's respect. When we like really, while we making tracks, like that last something to say that's on the radio right mm-hmm. now, mm-hmm. that, that JOB, yeah. like, all of us, yeah, we made that in the studio. That was a twenty minute song. Like mm-hmm. one of JO went in there, he made the hook, and we was all in the studio. We made, we went back to back. That mm-hmm. was a quick song, and it's him. Like everybody, fuck with that. Like that's the vibe. Like we really move as like wherever we at. We could cook up anywhere. We are gonna be anywhere. Mm-hmm. That hook was made. Any like we was really just chilling like mm-hmm. as a one. We got you. Beat on vibes. It was active like. Mm-hmm. It makes sense why y'all so insulated and why y'all not so worried about anybody musically or anybody outside. Y'all just so in the bubble, man. And I like that because we we've seen that happen with certain groups. As long as you got money, you can be in the bubble. If you don't got no money, you can't be in the bubble. 
that's what determines the difference on how people have to move and do move. And that, and that makes the difference. If y'all can remain in, in, in that bubble, then it don't matter what the rest of the world thinks. That's cool. Then like 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 we told um JV, say, yo, you want to come out with your single, you, you just got to get somebody known. That's cool to be in that bubble. But as soon as something starts to change, as soon as things get bigger, y'all going to have to come out the bubble. Yeah. And that's and that's when it gets really real, you know what yeah, I'm saying? It's, it's and be. that and and see time, y'all y'all got a lot of time right now. Say your career takes off, you don't have the same time, and you're the hook nigga, right? No, not that. I, I don't I, I, call myself the hook nigga. No, but I'm saying I'm saying you know. for for example because you write good hooks. Yeah. Okay. I get I get a great hooks to jail though. Jail okay. got the great. Ones. Okay. Both of y'all both write of dope. So now. Okay. Say it's two of y'all. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Say it's two of y'all that write dope hooks That's because because Jo's getting lit right along with That's you right fact. now, mm -hmm. right? That's definitely a fact. All right, we then. all lit. I ain't gonna lie. All right. All. So yeah. once once shit get lit, yo, Jo, you gotta go to Zimbabwe. You, G6, you got to go to Canada. We can't create like that no more. And those we bags all out is getting money, man. And those bags is different. Yeah, so how you combat that is you plan ahead and you do what I'm telling you. You write your hooks. You do what y'all what, what got to do. Mm -hmm. You can't have enough material ever. Ever. You got to. Everlasting, yeah. I got everlasting material. All right, yeah. And you gotta keep, and you gotta keep going, especially now because where 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 where, where, where y'all going? The attention span is what three days. You gotta like if you're lucky. If, if you're lucky, hours. so you gotta keep dropping. You gotta keep dropping <laughs> records. You know what I'm saying? So so you gotta just keep creating with your 15 boys, and that's what I'm saying. Look at the A A S O P mob. They they was lit mm -hmm. until. Rocky got famous and he moved then out to Cali. Ferg, then Ferg and then where, where's everybody else down? Yams, you know what I'm saying? It it just it trickled. So staying tight in that bubble is important if y'all got that money. And I just think y'all should each, you know, play to y'all strong suits where like how old dirty bastard was with all the dirty whores and meth, all the light, light skinned bitches liked him. You know what I'm saying? But I merge it all together. You know, like, <laughs> like Ferg's with the fashion. Rocky does yeah, his thing. Yeah, 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 underwear yeah. model. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, oh, what is your nationality? I'm Dominican. Okay. Mm -hmm. Full blooded? 100%? 100%. Respect, man. Because it seems like all y'all different. Nah, we are. That's how 161 yeah. is over there. It's all, way all different. It's like everybody in that group is, we all 10 plus or more. So we all basically grew up together. Okay. Oh, that's what's J.O. J.O. Like older than us, but he there with us. Like mm -hmm. he was there. He's not that old than us. I got mm. you. The age group go from anywhere like nineteen to twenty four, twenty five. Oh, artist wise. Oh, oh artist wise. Okay. That's like high school, man. You know, seniors and freshmen. Yeah. So yeah, y'all in there too. Everybody grew up together. It's like a bond nobody gonna be able to break ever. Like, right. So. We brothers. Mm -hmm. Seen each other the last ten years. Every day. Everything together. What what would it um let's let's close it out with this. What would it mean to um G six, V six to really make the Bronx shake? To to where California's like, we fuck with the these Bronx me? niggas. I mean everything, cause now it's like if I get to Cali, I'm all over the world after Cali, it's like mm -hmm. it's fifty two states in the United States I'm trying to get all over. And mm -hmm. then it's like a lot of continents I'm trying to touch everywhere. Yeah. So Wait, if, I touch, if I touch Cali, I know I could touch anywhere. Where would you like to touch outside you of America? You touch Cali, Cali, Europe, easy. I'm going to Europe. We're we going to my country. Dominican Republic going to go out there. They're going to hear me out there. They're going to love me more out mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. I'm repping New York, Dominican. I'm here. Bronx, Dominican at that. You heard? There's not too many. Do you rap in Spanish? Huh? I could. That's okay. the funny You part. know who he reminds me of? Who? Even though this nigga was- I thought gonna say who. He, even though he's never, he wasn't in the music industry. Who? His personality and his vibe and how he looked, he reminded me of Manny Ramirez. Really? Yeah. Just oh, like, the way, yeah, he, 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 he could be that, he could be that. Manny was just that, when he was killing the Yankees, he yeah. never wore his uniform the regular way, and he would just have fun and do the bird shit, and I was like, even though I'm, I, I fuck with the Yankees, I wanted I this nigga. Like, Manny, Manny I Ramirez. Manny Ramirez. He got yeah. the, the aura of Manny. When Just an ill nigga. When, when you get successful, 
What's the first most important thing that you want to do? And I'm not talking about we, we we already know if you're successful, you getting money, right? Yeah, I ain't even what, worried about that. Okay, question when you're successful, yeah. What's what's the most important thing? What's number one on your list that you want to do when you become successful? My priorities with my family, like I'm talking about daughter wise, mm-hmm. my mother wise, mm-hmm. like everybody who's around me. Even like me, I'm the type of nigga I don't care who helped me. I'm a helpful nigga. I, I can help myself. Mm-hmm. I don't need nobody. Like, but I'm there for like successful. My mom and my daughter right now, top one priorities. So, out the hood, like, why would I raise my daughter where I was raised at? Okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> G six Pablo V six. Shit, I don't know if Pablo your real nah, nigga. Pablo not there though. You can let that go. I think you should rock with that shit, dude. G six. I think you should. Tr- nah, yo, G six. Yo, this nigga dumb. He said you can. Look. He said nah, nah, nah. Yo, yeah, trust yeah, you me, can let dude. that go. Nah, nah, I'm, nah. We we do this marketing shit. Nah, yeah. Pablo, I ain't feeling that. If he ain't feeling it, it ain't know, going work. Fi- but, but but you know what? It's a lot of shit that I tried to convince him he wasn't feeling I either. Could but try he's feeling it now. Could try something though, yo. Nah, we're going to figure it we out. We're going to figure it Salute out. Salute to my man, Smith, man. He always bringing Shout the real. Shout out Smith, man. You all right? Who? Who? Smith, no, man. We here. <laughs> yeah, you know. Smith, well, BDM. Uh-huh. Money Machine, yeah. Smith. Yeah. Boom. 